Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to share some tips for rigging up swim baits or paddle tails, uh, whichever you prefer to call them. Now, these tips are going to be sort of outside of the box. They're not going to be your standard, just put the bait on the hook, make sure it's straight, and you're good to go. Uh, there are some things that I like to do in particular with jig heads and also with uh, twist lock hooks or wide gap hooks. So we're going to talk about that in this video. Now, when you get to the end of this video, if you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a like and also subscribe to our channel as we put out fishing tips pretty much on a daily basis to help you catch more fish. Now, the baits that I'm going to be using as an example in this video, this is our custom color uh, exclusive to Salt Strong. It's a Slam Shady three and a half inch swim bait and you can actually find these on our shop page and also you can grab a free pack by going to slamshady.com so definitely check that out. Now as far as rigging goes first let's talk about the jig head. This is a, a trout eye jig head which is made by Z-Man. This is a great jig head that I like to use for these baits however what you're going to notice on these paddle tails and some other paddle tails is that the nose is pointed so what I like to actually do is cut the pointed part off of the head of the bait. And the reason for that is because there's not enough meat there to really catch or uh, hold the bait on that jig head effectively because you need a good amount of meat on there for the lure to go over that part of the jig head and get nice and secure. So as you can see, I just cut the very tip end of that bait off and I'll just rig it as I normally would. Go right down the middle of the body. Make sure it's centered. And then just push it right up onto that jig head. And as you can see, you have a good amount of meat up there holding that bait in place. Now, something else you may want to consider, if you're fishing in an area and you notice a lot of bait fish are very small, let's say you're fishing and you're seeing a bunch of glass minnows and the predator fish are going after those glass minnows and not your bait, something else I like to do is just go even shorter with the bait. So I'll basically cut more of the bait off, like so. And now you have about a two to a two and a half inch bait and again, same thing, put it on your jig head. Just make sure you don't cut it too short that the uh, actual hook point is coming out in the very narrow tail section because that will definitely affect the action. So again, you can make that bait as short as you need to. Use a proper size jig head, slide it up onto that jig head, and now you have a nice small bait for those picky fish that are only going after small baits. Now the last tip that I want to share is actually rigging your baits upside down on your hook. It doesn't matter if it's a jig head or a twist lock hook or a wide gap hook. It doesn't affect the action at all. I took some underwater footage here of the bait rigged up on a twist lock right side up and also upside down. And if anything, it looks like the bait has more action when it's rigged upside down. So here you can see this is where the paddle tail is rigged right side up. You can see that tail kicks really nicely. And then in this footage here, this actually shows the paddle tail rigged upside down. So you can't really see too much of a difference. And here's a side-by-side -side uh, sort of showing the two in action. So again, as you can see, not much difference whether it's rigged upside down or right side up. The biggest difference you will see is obviously if you're using a bait that has a uh, two colors on there like a white belly or a black back obviously the black will be on bottom now and the white will be on top in my opinion i don't really see a difference i don't i don't really think the fish look at the bait that much to really determine oh it's upside down i'm not hitting that uh, it's really based on the action and just the natural instinct of the fish to go after the bait so as far as rigging these up on jig heads i will do the same thing as i normally do i will cut the very tip end of the bait off and just to kind of guide you as to where I usually do this, you'll see a little eye on the bait here. I don't know if you can see that there, but sort of a little raised area. I'll cut right behind that, like so. Cut it off. I also like to make sure it's nice and flat. And then when you put the jig head on, very important to make sure you don't put it too high up as you're rigging it upside down now. There's that slot back there, so you don't want the hook point 
to come out of the head part and then come straight out of that slot. What you want to do is hook it closer to the bottom of the bait or the more meaty part and have it come out the thinner part. So just as you would normally rig it, just upside down. So the advantage to this, as you can see that hook point is coming out and it's not exposed in the slot, but that slot is going to allow more clearance when a fish actually strikes a bait, as opposed to the hook being out on the very thick meaty part where the fish will clamp down on the bait and you won't get a lot of clearance. This way, you can see there's more clearance on that hook when the bait is actually pushed down. Also, you can see there really isn't much of a difference as far as how it looks, except for the tail obviously being upside down, but again, doesn't really affect the action much. If anything, I feel like it gives it a lot more action that way. Now, lastly is the twist lock hook. And the tip that I wanna share here is the same as rigging it upside down on the jig head. You can rig them upside down on the twist lock and the advantage to that is because of that slot that is on the bottom of the bait. It basically acts as a hook keeper and also acts as a guide to line your hook up straight. So just to show you here, I don't cut the tip of the bait off uh, when I'm using these twist lock hooks just because you, you don't need to. Uh, it's just a very tiny spring going into the bait and it works really well. So just put it on that twist lock, spin it on, and then remember you want the top of the bait or actually the bottom of the bait facing up so it's now the top. And just measure where that bait would go or where that hook would go into that bait. Just pop it right through. And again, make sure it comes out right in the middle of that slot. And now you basically have that hook buried under there, but it's very easy for that hook to pop out when a fish strikes so you can get a good hook set as opposed to it being uh, on the other side of the bait where the hook is buried into the meat and it, you can actually miss strikes because of that hook possibly not coming out when you get a strike. And again, same thing, the action really doesn't change much with that bait being upside down. You're going to get a good kick out of that tail still and the profile of the bait really doesn't change at all. It's still the same bait. Now one extra tip or bonus tip I guess you can say when rigging up baits on jig heads and this doesn't really matter if it's a paddle tail, if it's a jerk bait, if it's a plastic worm, whatever it may be, sometimes you may end up putting the bait on incorrectly. So for example, let's say I push it up too far onto the bait and the bait is now crooked or bent. As you can see that bait has a curve to it now. And what you can do is just simply pull on the bait and sort of push that hook to tear the bait a little bit and that will straighten it out. This is a much better option than actually taking the entire bait off the jig head and repositioning it because what's going to happen is that jig head, the barbs on the front, when you go to take it off, it's going to tear that bait up and when you go to put it back on, it's not going to stay on securely. So once you have it on there, leave it on there and then just pull on the bait and tear it a little bit to straighten it out. Now, if you are an Insider Club member, definitely check out the discounts page on your membership uh, because you do get 20% off these hooks, the Trout Eye Jig Heads, also uh, the Owner Twist Lock hooks and a variety of other products, everything from rods and reels to terminal tackle and lures and fishing line, you name it, it's all on there. You get a very steep discount. And if you're not an Insider member, definitely recommend checking that out. So that will wrap up this video on rigging up these paddle tails or swim baits on jig heads and also uh, regular twist lock or wide gap hooks. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave them down below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Hey there, it's Joe Simons, one of the co-founders here at Salt Strong, and have you claimed your free pack of these irresistible Slam Shady Paddle Tail Lures. We designed this lure with over 12,000 serious inshore anglers, including many full-time guides, to go out there and catch more redfish, more speckled trout, more snook, more flounder, more inshore saltwater slams. And if you want a free pack to try out a sample yourself, click down below right now. We have one free pack per angler while supplies last. Click down below right now.